Okay, so if you have basic money math skills, this should be a pretty easy question to answer. And what we're looking for is the simple annual interest rate needed to grow a $7,000 investment to $7,800 in one year. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through step-by-step step how to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so again, here is the problem. Now we do have some terms here like simple annual uh, interest rate. And if you don't know what this means, well, of course I'll fully explain this in just one second. But in essence, uh, we want to kind of make some money on our money, right? So we want to put our $7,000 into some institution like a bank and make some money on that money. Specifically, we want to make $7,800 in one year. So what is the simple annual interest rate needed to do this? Well, let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is approximately 11.42%. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in the area of simple interest rates. Now, interest rates is a huge topic uh, pretty much everywhere in our financial lives, uh, you know, you can't avoid seeing this symbol. Pretty much every day we see the percent symbol, but we see it attached to what? Well, interest rates like, hey, you know, put your money in this bank, you get this much money. Uh, now, of course, the time I'm posting this video, you actually get more interest on your money these days. So that is, I guess, a good thing. But of course, our inflation rate is up. I don't want to get too technical. But when it comes to money, especially your finances, you definitely want to know about interest rates and there's other types of interest rates like compound interest rates but what we're dealing with here is a simple annual interest rate okay and really what we're talking about in terms of mathematics is a percent problem all right so let's go and get into it right now and here again is our problem in kind of a visual way i kind of effectively explained the problem to you i said hey we have seven thousand dollars we worked really hard and we put this $7,000 in some sort of an investment, right? And we're trying to grow our money, and we're trying to get it to $7,800 in one year. Well, we want to make money on our money, and uh, that means we want some interest or a return on our investment. And uh, this is typically defined as an interest rate. Now, again, there's all kinds of different ways you can invest your money. But an interest rate is expressed in terms of a percentage, and you might see it like APR, annual percentage rate. All right, so uh, you know, basically, again, I'm kind of giving you an overview of a problem that you may see like this. All right, so let's take another look at, um, or another version of this problem, and it would be something like this. Now, if uh, some of you out there are actually taking a math course or some other course, you would see uh, the same problem expressed this way. What simple annual interest rate would uh, make a $7,000 investment grow to $7,800 in one year? So the first thing that we want to do when we face a problem like this is to kind of mentally you know, think of it as this situation, right? So we want to take this $7,000 and we want to make money on our money, right? So what is the interest rate needed? So we got to go shop around to different banks and institutions. They're like, hey, I got this amount of money. I want to get to this amount in one year. And uh, you need to determine if the interest rate that they're offering is enough. Now, we already saw what the answer is. You need to get this interest, 11.42%, uh, 11 11 approximately to reach your financial goals, if that's the you know kind of a goal that you want to do, uh, or you know save your money and make money. And by the way, again, as I indicated, uh, for those of you that may not be aware, and hopefully all of you are aware, you can actually get some uh, money on your money in a lot of banks these days. Now, of course, things cost much more, and uh, we're talking about inflation. But really what we're talking about is percent 
mathematics. So if there's anything that you want to really understand when it comes to mathematics in terms of practical math, that is percent. All right, so let's get some basics uh, down here because we have, uh, you know, some investments, um, you know, an investment situation going on and a simple interest situation. And uh, let's just kind of get some terms uh, down. All right, so we have this basic uh, formula here for simple interest. So P plus I is equal uh, to uh, the amount. Now, what does this mean? Well, basically, P is our what we call principal amount. Now, uh, the principal amount is how much money you have saved up, you've worked hard, and you want to invest. Now, in this particular problem, you should see that we're talking about this $7,000, right? This is what we, we kind of have. So that's our principal amount. Now, the interest, okay, is how much money the bank or uh, some other institution is going to pay you, right? So this is what we're going to actually earn or make because we already have this money. We're looking to make this additional amount of money, and that is called interest. Now, uh, this is going to be defined as a percentage rate, okay? Now, uh, what types of interest uh, do we have? Well, there's all different types. There's compound interest, uh, and compound interest would be a different formula. But what we're talking about here is simple annual interest, okay? Which means, effectively, that the bank is going to say, all right, I'll give you 10% of your money, okay? So let's suppose you have $1,000, and the bank is going to give you 10% of that if you keep that $1,000 in the bank for one year. So the bank will give you how much? Well, 10% of 1,000, the bank is going to give you $100. So this is going to be your interest earned. So the total amount that you'll have though, after one year, and this simple example will be what? Well, you have your $100 that you made and you had your original, let's uh, change this to $1,000, your original $1,000 plus you made $100. So after one year, you'll have $1,100. Okay, so this is the simple, uh, interest rate formula. Now, hopefully I didn't confuse anyone out there with compound interest. Uh, sometimes I think to myself, did I misspeak? Anyways, simple interest, that's what we're talking about, simple annual interest. Again, interest uh, type of problems, in terms, especially financial problems, compound interest. You can have annual compound interest. You can have continuous compound interest. You can have quarterly compound interest. So there is... Um, you know, much more or uh, a lot more sophisticated type of problems other than the one we're looking at right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the actual solution. Now that we understand what uh, interest rate is, uh, principal, you know, kind of the basic terms of investments. So here is our problem. So what simple annual interest rate? So this is a word problem. We're looking for this interest rate, okay, which is again, a percent which would make our $7,000 investment grow to $7,800 in one year. So going back to our other simple example here, when I was explaining this formula, a bank might say, oh, well, I'll give you 10% APR, annual percentage rate, or something along those lines. Again, it's annual. They're gonna give you 10% if you hold the money for one year, okay? So this is what we're looking for, or we're looking for something like this, uh, in this problem, what simple annual interest rate, and that would be expressed as a percentage that would be applied on this um, investment over uh, one year uh, span of time. Okay, so let's go back to our formula here. We have principal plus interest is equal to amount. Now, what do we know in terms of this interest? Well, we know the principal amount, okay? The principal amount is our starting amount. That's what? Well, that's our $7,000. Now, do we know how much interest we uh, made? Well, not directly, okay, but we do know our total amount. Our total amount is $7,800, right? So we're going to want to uh, uh, figure out how much interest, interest, excuse me, that we need interest rate to go from 7,000 to $7,800, okay? So let's go ahead and first just figure out what the interest uh, is and this is pretty, uh, hopefully, clear. But some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, we don't even have to do any math because if we start off with $7,000 as our principal and we end up with $7,800 after one year, well, our interest, what we made, is $800. So we made $800 on our $7,000. And this is just a basic algebra equation here. Uh, what we can do to solve for i is simply subtract 7000 from both sides of the equation, 
So I is equal to $800. So in this circumstance, we need to make $800 worth of interest on our $7,000 uh, investment, simple interest, simple annual interest, uh, to get to $7,800 in one year. So really now we have a different type of problem, okay? Or the, uh, basically the problem we need to solve is not this original problem. We have to figure out how much is 800 out of the 7,000. So effectively to solve this problem, we need to answer this question. 800 is what percent of 7,000? Okay, 800 is what percent of 7,000? Because if we can figure this out, 800, uh, because this is what we need to make, right? So what percent of 7,000 do we need to have in order to uh, get $800, right, after one year? Okay, so this is the basic percent problem that hopefully you know how to solve, and feel free to use a calculator, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how to solve this problem. But before we do, I need you to take a look at this, and that is a request to help me out on my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for a long time, well over 10 years. I think it's like actually 14 years since I created my channel, but uh, I've posted thousands of videos. I love teaching on YouTube because it really offers me a platform to um, you know, encourage people to never give up on themselves when it comes to mathematics or to try to show the practical value of learning math, right? Math kind of has, you know, one of those reputations with a lot of people. People don't like math. They're like, I, am, I just don't like math. It makes my hair stand up. Well, I totally get that. But, uh, you know, again, you need to know some basic math skills, especially if you want to understand things like personal finances and money. But anyways, uh, that's what my channel is all about. Now, um, the best way to support my work, and hopefully you're saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'll go ahead and subscribe. Well, that allows me to reach more people, okay? And it's definitely appreciated. And if you already are a subscriber, thank you so much. I want you to know that every person that watches my video, whether they're a subscriber or not, I look upon them as my uh, kind of math students. So I take a real responsibility to try to make a high value mathematical content. Also, if you're going to subscribe, make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get my latest uh, videos. Now, for those of you that need additional help in mathematics or want my best full instruction, check out the links in uh, the description below. You'll find my most popular math courses. And what we're talking about here, simple interest and things like that, you may want to check out uh, one of my uh, one or two courses. I'm thinking like my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I teach uh, interest in uh, multiple courses or maybe like my Algebra 1 course, okay? So if you want to know more about interest and compound interest, matter of fact, compound interest, uh, there's even different levels of problems. You may want to check out like my Algebra 2 problem or Algebra 2 course, excuse me, because you can use um, yeah, more sophisticated uh, mathematics to solve more uh, involved type of financial problems. Also, you'll find a link to my um, Shopify store which I offer some digital uh, downloads for some uh, notes if you're interested in that. Okay, so thanks for giving me a little time to explain what I do. And now let's move on and finish up this problem. So really what we need to do is determine 800 is what percent of 7,000? Okay, so now we have a, a uh, math problem about percent. So 800 is what percent of 7,000? Well, percent is a big topic in math, right? So how can we think about percent? Well, percent, you want to think of uh, a percent situation as the part out of a whole. Okay, that's a good way, a good model. So for example, if we have a pizza over here, all right, so let's chop this pizza up into four big slices. So what percent is one of these slices out of the pizza? Well, what part out of the whole is this one slice? Well, that would be one part out of a total of four, right? So that's one fourth of the pizza. But what we're going to do is convert this or change this to a decimal, right? So one out of four is what? Well, that's 0.25. Now we have a decimal. And typically we like to take our decimals and then we need to multiply by 100 to get to our percent. So when we do this, that moves the decimal point over two places to the right. So it's 25%. So this right here would be 25% of the pizza. Again, we're talking about percentage. So uh, when you have a situation like what we have right here, you want to think in terms of part, um, what part out of the whole do we have going on? And over here, we have 800 is what part 
out of 7,000. Okay, so the part is 800 and the whole is 7,000. So what we're going to do is take that 800 and divide it by 7,000. We're going to get the decimal, uh, which is approximately 0.1142. I'm kind of rounding off here. So this is not the answer because we don't have a percent. We have a decimal. So we need to change that decimal to a percent by multiplying by 100 or moving the decimal point over two places to the right. So it's approximately 11.42%. Now let's go ahead and check this answer. Okay, you might be saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm not so sure you did it right. I came up with something different, you know, and you might be like, all right, I wanna, I wanna argue this point with you. I got uh, maybe 33%. All right, fine, let's go ahead and do a quick check of the answer. All right, so if in fact um, the answer is 11.42%, uh, what that means is that if we have a principal amount of $7,000, okay, and our interest is going to be 11.42%, the bank is going to give us 11.42% if we hold that $7,000 in that bank account for one year, right? So that's what this means. So 11.42% uh, of 7,000 is what? Well, let's calculate that real quick. So to find the percent of a number, we have to go from uh, a percent to a decimal, okay? Which means we're gonna move the decimal point over two places to the left. We're basically doing the reverse of what we did from the decimal to a percent. So we're moving the decimal point over two places to the left or dividing by 100. So now we have 0.1142 and we're gonna multiply that by 7,000 and we're gonna get 799. 0.4. Remember, this is an approximation uh, because there's other digits here, but uh, 799.4 is pretty close to 800. All right, so that's how much uh, actual interest uh, the bank will give you on this $7,000 at 11.42% simple annual, annual simple <laughs> excuse me simple annual interest rate. So we have our $7,000 and 11.42 uh, per um, simple annual interest on this $7,000 is going to be just about $800, 799.4. And if we add this to this, it's pretty close to $7,800. Okay, so simple money mathematics. Now, uh, again, if there's one thing that you want to master in math for practical real life situations, it is percent, but you can't master uh, percent, understand percent, unless you understand what? Well, you got to understand like fractions and you got to understand the concepts. And uh, sometimes people are like, oh yes, I see that percent symbol all the time. I can do uh, percent problems. Well, you might be able to find the percent of a number and that's a good start, but there's other types of percent situations that you want to learn. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.